What's good? This is Kev West with KevWestBeats.com here to do a quick tutorial on the SSL that will be added to Reason 6. It's been there since Record 1.0 and any Record users are probably already really familiar with this. But this is going to be a great add-on to Reason um, for anybody who's interested in upgrading to Reason 6. Um, there's also going to be a tutorial for anybody who has any questions, you know, at the end of the video, feel free to leave comments and I'll answer as many questions as I can. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, of course. Now let's get started. First thing here we see on the right hand side, this is your master channel. And you have your quick toggle switches to your sequencer, to your rack. If you want to kill the um, master level gain by 20 decibels, you have that option here. This kills your solos, this kills your mutes. And you know you have your master fader, your master uh, decibel, your control room mounts, which are basically for monitoring the master level or for the set and effects channel. And then you have your eight effects channels that you can actually monitor. Next up, we have your um, effects return. Um, pretty self-explanatory. You um, use your effects that you route into the mixer, and these are actually the levels that you use to set those. Next, you have your um, master inserts. This is where your combinator, um, or excuse me, your uh, master patches go. You open the folder there, and you put and you put the patch in there. These knobs are there just to adjust the settings. If you decide you want to go back and do it the old school way, you just click on the edit inserts, and here's your mastering combinator. Only it's outside of the combinator. Now it's actually in the master section, which has replaced the hardware interface. Now as we continue, here is our effects sends. Um, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, your effects that you route to the mixer um, to send to each of your modules. And these are the levels that you use to set the levels inside the SSL. Um, probably the most important part and the most well noted part of the SSL, the master compressor. The on switch and then that is really a basic compressor um, that's on your master channel. But this is in my opinion what sets the 14 by 2 mixer in the SSL emulation um, worlds apart. Um, you know you have your uh, <clears throat> threshold, threshold settings, your ratio, attack, release, make gain, side chain if you want it. And now we go on to our individual channel strips. All your individual channel strips are going to be exactly the same. Um, I'm using the audio track, but even if you use the synth or sampler devices, they're going to look exactly like this. They're going to work the exact same way. The only difference is, is when you use a synth device, it's going to go into what's called a mix channel. And that has inputs if you want to route other instruments in, and the audio tracks don't have that. Only difference. Okay, so here we go, your basic stuff here, pan, levels, mute solo. Um, again, more effect sends. The, each of the numbers are the on buttons for the effect sends. If you want to do it um, post fader, if you want to do pre fader, you just click on the little pre button right here. And now you have it going both ways. Your um, insert effects, if you have any other effects combinators that you've created, you can open them up right here and again it'll route each of the functions right here to a knob or even to a button if you need the buttons again great stuff my personal favorite section of the ssl the eqs uh, you have your low pass and high pass filters which i do use quite a bit you have your bell curves on your high frequencies and on your low frequencies you have your high frequency gain as well as your high frequency ratio, or ratio is a bad word to choose, the frequent, the actual frequency that you're adjusting and then your gain. And that's exactly how the low frequency works too on the, in the black, the red is the high, and then your mids are the blue and green. The difference between the mids and the high low is that they also have a Q setting. Um, so if you really, really want to get into like a really, really tight frequency, you just turn it all the way to the right and now you're into that tight frequency. If you want it to be effect of wide range frequencies, turn it all the way to the left, like so. And it, it's really great. Works just like the in-class ones. 
Next, we have the dynamic section, the compressor and the gate. The gate is awesome if you want to kill background noise and vocals when you're recording a mic, or if you mic drums, you have air in the background, and you want to kill some of that noise. It's awesome for that. The compressor again, really basic compressor. I generally don't use this compressor on the mix channel. I know how to, I just generally don't. Again, it's just a basic um, compressor. You have fast attack, your ratio threshold release, um, your on switch, and then your um, threshold peak. Or excuse me, not threshold peak, um, compressor peak. You know, if you want to um, compress at the peak, that's what that button does. It's kind of like an auto, auto compression kind of thing. And last but not least, you have your input section. You have your input gain, of course, your invert phrase if you have any phasing. And then you change, and then you have the options to change your signal routing. So right now it's set up to where you go compression, EQ, and enter effects. But say you want to do um, dyna dynamics after EQ, press that bottom button, you switch it up. Or if you want to do your inserts for everything else, just press the top button and your inserts go in front, of course, if you press both, you'll go insert EQ Dynamics. So that's a little quick rundown of the SSL and Reason 6 and of course record 1.5 right now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, please rate, comment, and subscribe.